they had packed their belongings ready to leave the quarantine center at Kenyatta University. They began marching towards the main entrance of the university with the intention to freeing themselves from what they now describe as unbearable and illegal detention. When as they marked their 23rd day since they were brought into this facility. After testing negative twice, we should be released to rejoin our families immediately. A reference to WHO guidelines um, on quarantine should apply. We fail to understand what else the government wants us to do and what informs our continued force detention here. But that determination was cut short by police officers deployed there, forcing them back to their rooms. And the little money they had is already exhausted. They are also questioning the criteria used by the Ministry of Health to discharge four people with whom they say they were quarantined together. Does the government have double standards for discharge from quarantine facilities? We demand that the same standards used to discharge our colleagues be applied to the rest of us. We do not have the means to pay for the cost of quarantine at the facility. We are therefore unable to continue staying in these facilities. Self-quarantine and home should be used for the people that has posted negative results for both tests. We no longer feel safe at the quarantine centers, as they now appear as breeding grounds for COVID-19. The government continues to insist this is, it, uh, this is being done at our own cost, and we do not have the means uh, to pay. We have two centers in Kenyatta University. One has actually been released, but we still have Kenyans who have been detained because they are unable to pay. The quarantine quagmire seems to cut across many quarantine facilities. At the Kenya Medical Training College, where over 200 people have been quarantined, some told Citizen TV that the government is releasing people on the basis of who is able to pay their bills. The Director General of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Patrick Amoth, however, says the government extended the quarantine period for those at Kenyatta University after they failed to adhere to quarantine regulations. He says majority of them began mingling and socializing with no regard to social distancing. We will not hesitate to even extend it to 28 days or 36 days to be able to protect Kenyan people. We will go the whole hog. If you don't want to comply, we will force you to comply. And after 23 days of the government mandatory quarantine here at the Kenyatta University with the two COVID-19 tests, which they say have turned negative, they feel they no longer need to be here. Either they be taken to hospital or discharged to their homes. Makori Citizen TV at Kenyatta University.